title. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I'd like to switch that stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll, can I have your research materials? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so, um, a bunch of people have been really enthused about JMonkey Engine and been building interesting stuff with it, so, so let's, about it. So let's talk a bit about the origin of uh, the JMonkey Engine. So, you know, if you take a look at game development using Java technologies, it's come a really you know, a tremendous way over the past seven years since we really started focusing on uh, client-side technologies for game development. So we started with APIs like Java, Joel, Jade, but to provide the core foundation for games we build. Um, there were other community uh, driven APIs like uh, LWJGL as well that made it into product. And from those APIs, 3D engines like the JMonk engine of which Josh Slack is one of the two creators of, and for those of you that heard out there, it is an amazing piece of technology. And Slick, which is a 2D engine. And out of that, we were born these community games and then finally made it their way into commercial product. So we've come so far in just seven years of APIs to full engine to you know, massive commercial deployment. Tying into that, Sun has been focusing its efforts on a new project called Project Dark Star. We released it to open source back in September. And Project Dark Star is a fault-tolerant, high-performance game server technology that allows game developers to do what they do best, which is build games and not build pipes. Right, so, so, so it's sort of Java EE for games. Right, I mean, you can think of it right, as an application. So this is a game that's actually utilizing the JMonkey engine for all of the client rendering. And it's actually tied to a Project Darkstar server that is currently running in the UK. And we are online live right now with the developers in the UK playing against them, basically across the pond. Josh, can you talk a bit about the, the game that we see here? Yeah, well, so Call of the Kings is sort of your old uh, school war game, military game, brought to the new technology. So you have a very deep political system, you have a trading system, and of course you have battle and, and combat. And uh, they've put a lot of great work into it, putting backstory and um, special effects through, uh, through the JMonkey engine into the game. And uh, it looks like we're getting attacked. Oh, no. And we told him just, you know, don't get all your troops to get on the attack Josh while he's on the stage. He's just tearing down. Well, I guess I'm going to die. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the neat thing about it is it's, it's using Project Dark Star on the back end. Uh, and, uh-oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just let myself <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, let's, let, 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 let. Yeah, I think those stalls are kind of a bad thing. Not a good thing. Yes. Not a good thing. <laughs> so. Yeah. But it's been exciting to watch them take the technology and really run with it. Right, so people have built a wide variety of games that are like deeply immersive, very 3D. Uh, I mean, this one, you, you, you rove through this, this world kind of in, in this, you got this kind of helicopter view of a, a 3D world where you see all the vast armies below you doing their thing. Right, right. And then, I mean, it's everything from uh, complete 3D games to very simple turn-based games I'm seeing. Uh, being used on Project Dark, and the JMonkey engine is a great platform, open source platform for people to use as well. And that's a critical piece of this. All these technologies are open source. So what it's really providing developers the ability to do today is to get access to very rich, deep technology and focus on building good games, right? Uh, asking an artist to go